was just wondering if you could describe the situation at Ishin Primary and how it came to your attention. I approached the headmaster after the forum and uh, I said, look, we've had an inquiry uh, about the school meal service, it's failing, can we do something about it? And he basically said, look, it's sold Pat, we can't do anything about it, we're locked into a contract. So I said, look, would you mind if I looked at the contract? So I took a look at it and um, fortunately for us, there were various provisions where if the service was failing, we could serve break notices, we could serve penalties, and we, we basically found a way to remove ourselves from the contract. And we went off and did some research, and we went to conferences at the uh, GLA um, from the Soil Association. We visited other schools that we heard about. The other problem we had was we had no kitchen as such. We had a very small kitchen, which was a simple reheat with lots of freezers, and we had a funding problem and that we had uh, no government support or money to refit the kitchen. So how did you um, overcome these barriers? Well, we, um, we essentially uh, addressed the problem through a whole school approach. And funded generally through the parent body. So we had a summer fair which raised part of the money. We had a Christmas fair. We had sponsored work to the whole school for all children in Richmond Park. We, we raised the best part of £45,000, which was kitchen re refit and an extension. Uh, my, my role was very much the um, school governor um, tasked with um, uh, dealing with this particular issue. I worked with two particular parents. We inspected lots of schools. We met with a number of uh, Cajun, potential Cajun partners. We attended conferences and um, we set a criteria. And the criteria that we had was a very much a, a fresh food approach, which would have an element of organic and that over a period of time would be incremental and enable us to take it to a better position over a period of time. Uh, one of the nice things for me in the early stages was having parents remarking that um, their children were coming home um, uh, insisting on broccoli, which they'd never had before in their lives. It was a, it was a great change um, in, for children and, it, and very important for the school. It, it drew the school very close together as a, as a working school. For other parents who'd like to do something similar in their school, yeah. what would be your top three tips? Um, I think you need a whole school approach. Secondly, be, aim high, okay. aim, aim very, be ambitious. Thirdly, do lots of research, go and look at good examples, go and check other schools. Um, try and identify good working partners. You can't do it all yourself.